it's large subject. I choose some of the subject that I think you need to know about because uh, are common or it's a uh, site uh, saving condition. So juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So juvenile idiopathic arthritis is the same disease as rheumatoid arthritis, except it occurs before the age of the 16 year. So juvenile idiopathic arthritis usually negative for rheumatoid factor. It's called seronegative arthritis, which present in children either as systemic disease with fever and lymphadenopathy, or what's called peak articular uh, arthritis or body articular arthritis. Peak articular arthritis usually four or fewer joints are affected. Body articular more than five. The female are more affected than men. So, the GIA, juvenile pedicure, is the most common disease associated with childhood anterior uveitis. Type. And we have three types systemic, bico articular, and polyarticular. Bico articular is the high, higher risk of chronic anterior uveitis, especially if he is positive for ANA. So if we have patient with negative rheumatoid factor, picoarticular arthritis, and positive ANA, he has higher risk of developing juvenile adiabatic, uh, uh, juvenile adiabatic related uh, uveitis. Symptom, and this is the big problem for the juvenile adiabatic, is usually asymptomatic. There is no pain, there is no redness. Uh, family will know about disease when the complication is already happened. Either posterior cyanica, cataract, glaucoma. So that's why if any patient with juvenile idiopathic arthritis and the, patient, the child complain of arthritis, he need to be seen by the ophthalmologist and you need to screen him um, yearly to, to check if he has uveitis or not. Because if he is not checked, he may develop a complication and treatment will be more difficult. Okay, many of the people with juvenile diabetic arthritis need uh, a follow-up in close, uh, close time, maybe six months or four months or every three months maybe. The patient who has the highest risk, minimum the highest risk, the negative rheumatoid factor, the bicoarticular arthritis, will positive ANA. These three things, if happen in one child, he need to be seen by ophthalmologist as soon as possible and give him recurrent, uh, give him uh, follow up in four month interval or six month interval to make sure that he doesn't have a sign of uh, uh, uveitis and treat him if he has this sign. So as we said, uh, a, prof a profound visual defect may be discovered by chance if lens damaged by the chronic uveitis. Sign eye, eye is white, unusual for the anterior uveitis, but other signs of anterior uveitis are present. Because the uveitis are chronic, cataract may occur and patient may develop glaucoma either as a result of uveitis or a result of steroid use to treat the condition. Macular edema may occur, approximately 70% cases show bilateral involvement. So this child family just uh, does not have any complaint, or he may complain of arthritis and the family does not <coughs> make attention to, to check by the uh, rheumatology doctor, then they notice that his eye is different in color. So he has glaucoma, he has a cataract. In this type of patient, treatment is, will be more difficult. <clears throat> uh, 
الانفستيجيشن الروماتويد فاكتور از نيجاتيف يوجوالي اند بيشنت فريكوينتلي ها بوزيتيف اي ان اي تريتمنت از اوتلايند ان ذا تي ريفيتس قبل اتروبين ستيرويد بت ميك شور اي اوسو الاتروبين ستيرويد وي شو وي شو تشيك ابوت وي تشيك ابوت الاي او بي سيكندري تو ستيرويد يوز اوسو تشيك الكاتاركت اف هي هاز كاتاركت because of steroid use or because of the nature of the disease. Patient may be put on systemic treatment for the joint disease. Uh, and this be decided by the rheumatology doctor. So it's important to scare children with juvenile arthritis regularly for uveitis as they are otherwise asymptomatic unless potential blinding complication occur. Glaucoma can be very difficult to treat and may need surgery. I think uh, you thought in that this condition is very rare, but believe me, I saw we saw a lot of patients, a lot of a lot of child that have this complication, and the family does not know that he, they have juvenile diabetic arthritis. So he came with amblyopia. He came with uh, strabismus because of cataract, cataract causing amblyopia and amblyopia causing strabismus. When you examine him, you notice there is uh, anterior chamber flare and cell. You notice that there is posterior cyanique. You notice that there is cataract. You did investigation for him. You find that he has positive INA. So you diagnose him with juvenile diabetic arthritis. And another, uh, another disease that you need to know about is called Behjet disease. So Behjet is a diabetic multisystem disease characterized by recurrent episode of orogenital ulceration and vasculitis. It may involve small, medium, or large vein. So Behjet disease or condition are cause wide range of symptoms, including mouth ulcer, genital ulcer, hypopian. Diagnostic criteria. Recurrent oral ulceration uh, is a must characterized by pain for minor or major afters. Have recurrent at least three times in 12 month period. Plus at least two of the following. So recurrent oral ulcer is definitive for diagnosis. Plus two other uh, plus two of the following: recurrent genital ulcer, ocular inflammation, and we will see. We will talk about what type of ocular inflammation we have, skin lesion like erythema, erythema nodosa, and positive pathology test. It's the type of test that can be diag can diagnose al-bahjit. Right. So you can here see the oral uh, ulcer and genital ulcer, the ocular feature, anterior uveitis, maybe spontaneously Bilateral and frequently associated with transmobile hypobian. So hypobian, you can see it here. What mean transmobile hypobian? So when the patient is uh, sitting back, the hypobian move. This is one of the characteristic of the uh, Bash disease. Retinitis, you can see here this whitish lesion. This is retinitis. Also, one of the complication, one of the complication is retinal vasculitis, which may involve uh, vein or artery, resulting in occlusion, and occlusion causing cystoid macroedema and diffuse hemorrhage in that part. So here, there is occlusion of the vessel here. This occlusion causing hemorrhage. This hemorrhage can accumulate under the macula, also can cause macular edema. Phytritis, phytritis you, you cannot see any detail of the retina. Uh, it usually, uh, it may be severe and persistent, it's, univers it's universal, uh, in eye with active disease, so ac active disease 
just diagnosed with the Bahjet. Usually there is a vitritis. The vitritis depend, uh, depend on the, depending on its degree, you can see some part of retina. Sometimes you cannot see any part of retina. So in this stage of disease characterized by optic atrophy, vascular occlusion, like in this picture. Treatment, uh, continent tablet is prescribed for mouth and genital ulcer. You need to, of course, uh, send the patient for rheumatology to check. Immunosuppressive uh, uh, are usual uh, treatment for moderate Bahjet disease, uh, such as azithromycin, cyclosporine, also anti-TNF, tumor necrosis factor may be effective. Okay. هذا الديزيز ما راح يمر عليكم الا بالافثاء غيرها من كم ما يمر عليكم حتى استغربنا يومنا طلاب من اسمه والسندروم اللي موجود عنده سكولد فوكت كاناجا هرايدا ديزيز في كي اتش از ايدوباثيك مالتي سيستم اوتو اميون ديزيز فيتشر انفلاميشن اوف مانانوسايت كونتيني تشو سات از يوفيا الاير اند مانينجيز you will be surprised how many patients of VKH we saw in the ophthalmology clinic. It's quite common in our society. So VKH can be subdivided into focal canagi disease characterized by skin change and deterioritis and Harada disease. Let's hold this way. طيب عذرا معليش سو الهراد ديزيز از يوجوالي واضح الصوت يس واضح الصوت طيب الهراد ديزيز از يوجوالي ان نيورولوجي كان فيتشر وذ اوكسيدتيف ريتال اتاشمنت بريفت مايند فيسز وي هاف برودرومال فيس اكيوت يوفيتيك فيس اند كومبنسنت فيس Prodromal phase usually lasting few days, characterized by neurological and auditory manifestation. Meningitis is causing uh, headache, neck stiffness, insulin lobotomy is less frequently and many be manifested by conflu- uh, co- convulsion, paresis, and carrying nerve palsy. Auditory feature like tetanus, vertigo. Acute uveitic phase follows soon thereafter and characterized by bilateral. Granulatus anterior or multifocal posterior uveitis with oxidative retinal attachment. The composite uh, phase is localized alopecia, uh, boliosis, fetiligo, 
focal demigmented fundus lesion, what's called sunset glow fundus. So you can see here multifocal choroiditis. Here, because it's uh, um, 2D, you cannot appreciate that the retina is elevated and causing exudative retinal attachment. Now we talk about exudative retinal attachment and not subretinal fluid with no break. Do you need to treat the underlying cause? So alopecia, polyosis, uh, vitiligo, also you can see it in the, uh, the chronic phase. Arterial viat is usually non gramatous due to uh, during the acute phase, but show a gramatous feature during recurrent, which involve only anterior segment. The posterior viatus occur in patients with heart disease and it's frequently bilateral, uh, diffuse choroidal infiltration and papillitis, multifocal detachment of sensory retina. In the chronic phase it can show uh, diffuse RBE atrophy, what's called sunset growth fundus. A treatment need uh, cortisone, high dose cortisone, and uh, a steroid uh, resistant patient, may, you may need a cyclosporine. The last disease, what's called acute retinal necrosis. It's rare but devastating necrot necrotizing retinitis. It's initially unilateral and varies according to the severity. Some patients develop severe visual impairment over a few days associated with pain, where others have insidious onset and mild visual symptoms such as floaters. Uveitis as a specialty is very difficult, even for the uveitis consultant. Then some patients some patient, uh, have acute, like an acute retinal necrosis. Some patients have pain, acute, with decreased vision. Some patients are gradual. So each disease are different in the presentation. وحتى نفس الديزيز أحيانا يكون presentation حقه مختلف. فلذلك بالعادة إحنا نسمي الوفيايتس is not like is not like other disease in uh, you see مثلا microbial keratitis you diagnose him with microbial keratitis. بالعادة الوفيايتس is like a movie. يبدأ ب, يبدأ ب one symptom one sign بعد وقت يبدأ ب sign ثانية you exclude some diseases and you treat him with, uh, you treat the ophthalmic disease, then you exclude other systemic disease, and like this. So, بالعاده يوفياتس, بالعاده يسمونه, يوفياتس is like a movie, it's not like one time diagnosis with one picture. Except in, except in many diseases, يكون diagnosis واضح بال, بال history, يكون مثلا هو positive, uh, هو عنده history of MS. و والبيشنت عنده انترميديال فيايتس وكان عنده uh, وكان عنده مثلا هيستوري اوف اوبتيك نيورايتس سو ذس جايد يو ذات ذا دايجنوزيس از يوجولي ريليتد تو ذا ام اس طيب ساين اوف اكيوت نيثر نيكروزيس فيترايتس اند جرايمتس انتيريو فيايتس ار يونيفرسال بريفر ريترن بيري ارترايتس اسوشيتد وذ مالتي فوكال ديب وايت ريترن انفلتريت هنا you can see vitritis وهنا الريتنا it's white it's called retinitis gradual uh, infiltrate of full thickness necrosis and circumferential progression you can see here retina is necrotic all this retina is necrotic so there is a high risk of retinal detachment in this patient So acute lesion resolved within six to 12 weeks, leaving behind transfer uh, necrotic uh, retina. Unless patient receive appropriate treatment, the second eye become involved in 30%, usually within uh, two months, although some patients uh, have longer duration. A treatment is cyclovir. So that's why it's very important uh, uh, disease that a patient, can, if, not, if patient is not treated with uh, acyclovir, either uh, systemic or antivitreal, uh, 
other disease and other eye can be involved. When intravitreal in the eye of uh, the eye involved, the other eye normal, we don't eject unless they have sign or symptom. من جروب عشرة محمد طيب يرفع يديه اللي بريزنت <تصفيق> 